Good afternoon. I'm going to start. Um, today, we do have the topic past continuous tense. Today, start discussing on past continuous tense. Concept, structure, and usage. Okay. So, as usual, let's start with this concept. What is past continuous tense? What does past continuous tense mean? For this, please first concept. Let's see here. This picture. Just imagine this is the present point. This is present point. And from here to the left, past time. And here to the right, future time. Okay. Now, past continuous tense denotes such action that began here in the past and went in continuously for some time. That's the action. Action began in the past and continued, continued for some time. Yes, that's past continuous tense. <clears throat> so, action began in the past and went in continuously for some time. The tense denoting such action is called past, perfect, past continuous tense. Two things. Action began in the past and second went on continuously for some time. Yes. To tense denoting such action is past continuous tense. This. So the definition is the tense which denotes the action that began in the first and continued for some time is termed as past continuous tense. Yes. This is part the concept of past continuous tense. Let me give you one example here. Ramlal was writing a letter. Yes. Okay. 
It means this action was going on continuously in the past. Now we will talk on this structure. Structure see here. The structure is very very important for you. Dear students. The structure is subject plus was where plus before plus test test test. See here. Ramla subject plus was then before. Was that's used with singular subject. Whereas where is used with singular subject. Singular subject and where with a plural subject. If you see the pronouns here, pronouns then with I, he, see, it, we squat, whereas we, you, whether singular or plural, doesn't matter. And they, we use where. That's the structure, dear students. Okay. Let me give you one example here. I was walking in the garden. I was walking in the garden. Yes, this is the example. She subject plus was plus before past continuous tense. More example there. Where playing cricket. See here, subject plus where plus before. That's why past continuous tense. So these are the examples of past continuous tense. Now the most important thing is the usage of past continuous tense. What are the grounds from which we use past continuous tense? So let's see. Let's see the uses of past continuous tense. Here. Past continuous tense and type one examples here. First type one examples. Okay. See, dear students, I was playing with my brother. My dear students, tell me now, what's the tense used here? See here, past continuous tense. Why? Because this action was going on in the past. If any action there was going on continuously in the past for some time, then we use past continuous tense. And this action was going on. Action going on in the past. That's why past continuous tense is usual. With this sentence. Okay, let's see next. 
Hari was Hari was playing the piano. Piano, say here. Again, tell me. What's the tense used there? See, was plus before. First continuous tense, it is quite obvious. Was plus before. But why? Why? The reason is the same here. Action going on in the past. This was going on continuously for some time. In the past. That's why past continuous tense is used there. Okay. Let's see. One more example. They were demonstrating demonstrating against the government. They were demonstrating against the government. See, what's the change here? Past continuous. Past continuous. And the reason is the same here. Action going on in the past. Action going on in the past. Therefore, So, what can be said finally here? What's your final observation? After absorbing these three examples, what's the conclusion? What did you understand? So, what did you understand here? Past continuous tense is used with the actions which were going on continuously in the past. Finished. So write over here actions which were going on continuously in the past. Yes, with such actions we use past continuous tense. Okay, let's see. Type two examples. We don't have more here. Type two examples. And this is uh, these examples are very very important for you this change for the examination point of view. So please have your concentration here on the board. Let's see here. She was taking she was taking uh, exam of maths at this time Study. They are students. Now tell me again. What's the tense here? Past continuous tense. Why? Why? Why is past continuous? It is because of at this time plus past time and well here. It shows. It tells that. This action was going on continuously yesterday at this time, at this time, 5 o'clock, at 5 o'clock yesterday, it was going on. She was checking the exam. We exam did everything. We exam did everything. That's why, because of this at this time plus yesterday, we use past continuous tense here. It shows action going 
going on continuously for some time in the past. That's why past continuous tense is used here because of this at this time plus yesterday. It indicates here, it implies past continuous tense over here. That's why it is very, very important for you for the examination point of view. Let's see another example. Let's see another example here. Hario was sleeping at five PM the day after so the day before. day before study. See again here. Which tense is here? Past continuous. Okay. Why? Because of this. At 5 p.m. plus the day of study. I mean clock time plus past time and where it is here. Past time and where it is. This implies this says the action was going on continuously in the past for some time. At 5 o'clock, the day before study, Haryom was sleeping. Asti paas baje saajma Haryom suti rahe kuthi. So, this implies again action going on. Continuously for some time in the past. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see one more example. Sita was reading the book. You can win. See here. So you can win all study. Now see me again. What's the tense here? Past continuous. Why? Because here all is followed by past time. All plus Past time it pop. That's why. So it also says that action was going on continuously in the past. So dear students, now what's the conclusion? What's the summary? You got the summary is here. Somebody is here, please. With at this time, it's very important. I don't be at this time or clock time. At this time, this is the clock time or all or plus past time adverbials. Past. Time it will be else like you will have yesterday, the day before yesterday, or last. We have such past time and workers following at this time, clock time, or yes. 
With this, we use past perfect continuous tense or past per sorry, sorry, past continuous tense. With this, with this, we use past continuous tense. A past continuous tense is used with these structures. Okay, that's all for past continuous tense. Now. Okay. Now let's talk about past perfect tense too. Past perfect tense. Again, as usual. Watch the concept here. See here, students. This is the line here, present point. From here to the right, so left, past time, here, future time. There, students. See, past perfect tense. What sort of action is denoted by past perfect tense? Any action that began here and, and completely. See, this is the action. And this is also the action. Past. This is the past perfect action. The action that was completed before another past action. This action had been completed before this past action. So this action is known as past perfect tense. Action completed before Another past action is to be in past perfect tense here. I mean, what sort of action is due to my past perfect tense? Past perfect tense means the tense which denotes the action. Completed before another past action is known as past perfect tense. See. Let me give you one example here. <clears throat> the patient had died before the doctor arrived. See here, which action occurred first here? Did the patient die first or did the doctor arrive first? Patient died here first. That's why it is in past perfect. See here. You can bhanda, you can pahele ni bhai shakhe ko thiyo. Doctor aunu bhanda pahele ni paise, mahi shakhe ko thiyo. That's, this is past perfect tense here. This action occurred, happened before the arrival of the doctor. So this is past perfect tense. Okay. Now let's come to the structure here. Structure is subject plus had plus V3 plus test, test, test. And you what? With hand, both singular plural are used here. Hand is used as both singular plural. I mean, there is no subject for that agreement with V2. V2 is used with all sorts of nouns, singular plural, 
Countable, uncountable, yes. Okay. So, let's do an example. I had finished my walk before my brother returned from the school. See here again, which action occurred first year? I had finished my work. And then my brother returned here. So past perfect always denotes the first action, earlier action. Which occurred before this. Before the return of my brother. I had completed my work. Okay. Now let's come to its uh, usage. We don't have more here. Okay. Usage of past perfect tense. See here. Let's see the examples here. The police arrived after the thieves had fled away. See, dear students, see, past perfect tense is used over here. Past perfect tense is used over here. Why past perfect there? Because the flying, fleeing of thieves occurred first before the arrival of police here. Which event occurred first? Which action occurred first? Did the police arrive first or did the thieves flee away? Thieves flee away first. You action pahile That's why past perfect tense is over here. Yes, this is the earlier, this is the first action. First action. And this is the second action. So with first action we use past perfect. If two actions occurred in the past, one occurred earlier and occurred later, now with the earlier action we use past perfect tense. Let's see another example. He had reached the school before the bell rang. See again. Which action occurred first year? Did the bell ring first or the speaker is there? The speaker is first year. After reaching the bell rang. This is the first action. First action. This is the second action. That's why with the first action, early action, past the Let's see one more example last. She had she had come back from the office before Before her brother before her brother returned returned. So which action occurred first year? She came back first. So first action. First action. And this is the second action. That's why 
past perfect tense is used here. So, what's the conclusion now here? Past perfect tense is used with the action that occurred first. Yes, yes. Past perfect tense is used with the action completed before another past action. Mm. Yes. That's the conclusion. Okay. This is all right. We are in the uses of past perfect tense. We'll talk more about simple past, past continuous and past perfect in the sequence of tense. Then we'll talk again about past perfect, simple past and past continuous to there. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, let's uh, uh, see some questions for you to practice at home with this. So please be ready to write down. Be ready with your bulk pen, pen and talk please. Like use the correct tense. Use the correct tense. Number one, C. Finish the work before I went to her house. First question. Now, the second one. Sita go out and hour ago number three don't disturb me don't disturb me I do in bracket my Homework This house Built in 1945 Part number C C number He right He work in the field all study and last this house this house not clean for several days Okay. These are the six questions for you to practice at home. Go through them and use correct tense. Put the box in the correct form, correct tense there. I hope you will come with the answers of these questions and tomorrow I will write the answers again on the board and you will get them asked. Thanks. Thank you a lot for watching. You are so class of English grammar.